Hi everybody and welcome to another episode with the Anxious Resistance. Today I'm talking about a drug called Abilify or Aripiprazole. This is an atypical antipsychotic and it's often used in the treatment of bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. But one of the big things that I'm really going to talk about today that are one of its indications is an add-on treatment for depression. So this is a medication that's added on when you already have an SSRI going. Okay, so a little bit about the history of aripiprazole or Abilify. It was first approved for medical use in the United States in 2002. It is available as a generic medication now and in 2020 it was the 89th most prescribed medication in the United States. So that's a lot of prescriptions. It has more than 8 million prescriptions. In 2007 aripiprazole was approved by the FDA for the treatment of unipolar depression when used adjunctively so with an antidepressant medication. Okay so what are all the uses for aripiprazole or Abilify. It can be used for schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, major depression, autism, tic disorders, as well as obsessive compulsive disorder. Okay, so how does Abilify work? Abilify's primary action is on the dopamine 2 receptor. One thing that makes it a little bit different from other atypical antipsychotics is its action on that dopamine 2 receptor. So unlike other atypical antipsychotics like ketiapine, olanzapine, zeprazine, Azadone. Abilify is actually only a partial activator or agonist of that dopamine 2 receptor, where those medications that I listed before are full agonists. So they have a full action on that receptor where aripiprazole is only partially active on that. And that explains why aripiprazole actually has a lot less severe side effects than the other atypical antipsychotics do. Is Abilify effective? It's proven effective for the indicated conditions of bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. It's also FDA approved to effectively treat major depression or major depressive disorder as an add-on therapy. This means that Abilify is helpful for depression when used in combination with an antidepressant, as I mentioned before. What are some of the side effects? You can have some severe side effects with atypical antipsychotics. Some of them include headache, extrapyramidal symptoms, drowsiness, restlessness, fatigue, sedation, agitation, insomnia, anxiety, weight gain, that's a big one, cholesterol abnormalities, increased glucose, nausea, vomiting, and constipation. Let's break that down a little bit. So extrapyramidal symptoms symptoms, you may have heard of this before, sometimes it's referred to as EPS, are symptoms where you lose muscle control. Usually it means that you get little kind of ticky movements, you get pill rolling is one of them, sometimes you get lip smacking, sometimes you get abnormal tongue movements. These are extra pyramidal symptoms and these aren't permanent, okay? These will go away if you taper off of the medication, but they may become permanent if you ignore them for too long. And this turns into what's called tardive dyskinesia or TD. Now you have to be very careful about that with the atypical antipsychotics because those effects are permanent. And if you don't taper off the medication as soon as these things start to happen, then you you can have some long-term effects for the rest of your life. One of the other big side effects with atypical antipsychotics is weight gain. Now the weight gain is said to be less severe with Abilify or Aripiprazole because it is only that partial activator of the D2 receptor. Hopefully if you take this it's less. Oftentimes the weight gain side effect is not dose dependent so it doesn't matter if you're on a low dose or a high dose. And the real big issue with the weight gain side effect is that oftentimes it not only increases your appetite making you more hungry, it actually decreases your metabolism so you burn less calories. So it's a double-edged sword. You're eating too much and then your body's not using as much energy as it used to and so you'll put Put on weight and you put it on quickly. Now Abilify is said to be better than other antipsychotics for this so hopefully those side effects aren't as severe for you and especially if you're at a low dose you shouldn't be getting things like tardive dyskinesia or the extra pyramidal symptoms although they are possible. Okay so I want to talk about personal experience when it comes to Abilify. So I've been taking Abilify for about five months now. It was an add-on medication that I had during a time when I had a little bit of crisis. I had some 
big changes in my life. I was graduating school, I was moving, all this stuff, and so I felt some extra stress and had a little bit of depression mixed in as well. And so my doctor suggested that we start Abilify, and I did. So. Abilify after only a few days helped me feel better. It lifted my mood, I was no longer depressed, and it actually helped with my anxiety symptoms. And so I was feeling much better after only a few days. The effects of Abilify take up to about two weeks to reach their maximum. So I started feeling better and better over those two weeks. And I actually got to the point where toward the latter end of those two weeks, I was feeling too tired. I was feeling pretty exhausted. So I asked my prescriber if I could cut the dose in half. And at the time I was on two milligrams, which is a very low dose. And then I cut back to one milligram. I was breaking two milligram tablets in half. And I had some withdrawal symptoms. Now this was the most difficult part of my Abilify experience is for about a week after I cut that dose down, I was just severely agitated. I was impulsive. I was anxious and it was a miserable, miserable week. I wasn't sleeping either and I was really struggling. And so I knew that it had to be tied to the withdrawal of this medication. Atypical antipsychotics, their primary action is on that D2 receptor, but they hit on a lot of other receptors as well. So they can really have a lot of side effects. And I really struggled for about that week but then I felt fine as my dosage started to even out at that lower level. So my experience with Bilify is positive overall. I've been taking it for five months. I believe it helps. I believe it's a great add-on medication to the Prozac that I'm already taking. I'm very grateful for it. If you have any questions about Avilify, comment them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you have positive experiences with Abilify as well. If you've taken this medication before, let me know. Tell me about your experience. Tell me how it worked for you. And thanks so much for watching.